Sonic Adventure 2 is a classic game for me, and this updated version that was ported over the Steam is fantastic. As a bonus, it actually supports multi-monitors very well. There's a couple of problems here or there, like the HUD is spanned, but overall it's very, very playable. <laughs> Not all of the HUD actually get shown on the outsides. A lot of in-game indicators actually show up on the middle monitor right where you need it to be. So it's not completely broken. I picked this level Sky Rail because back when I was first doing multi-monitor stuff when I had my 5x1 portrait set up, this was like one of the first levels I wanted to try. It's very open and you see a lot of different things. There's some pop up on the side of the monitors, but it's not too bad. It doesn't happen too close to the center, so it keeps the immersion level pretty good. As far as normal gaming mechanics goes, this is a very excellent port. As far as I can tell, it behaves exactly how it would under Dolphin or on one of the consoles it came out for, the GameCube and the Dreamcast. Although this port is actually closer to the GameCube version of uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. It has all the extras, except uh, it, I don't believe it has any of the old URLs to the Sonic Team website that the Dreamcast version had. Now, being a console port, it actually has very good support for controllers. It natively has the Xbox 360 controller in there, like most games for Windows Live games, but it doesn't actually have games for Windows Live, which is always a plus. I can't tell you how many games for Windows Live games are just... ugh. They usually don't want to install or have some sort of Windows Live update immediately as I install it, even if it's a brand new game. It's just a lot of stuff I don't want to deal with. I don't think anyone else wants to deal with either. Here we go. Maybe I didn't try hard enough. Now the stage select screen, which is what we're looking at here, has a little problem. The background that they made was only made for 4x3 originally, but they actually upped it to 16x9. But it only covers one of the monitors. The first level that anyone plays when they first sit down with this game is City Escape. Therefore, it seems fitting that iFanity really shows off in this level. It makes you feel like you're moving faster than ever on this downhill slope. This level has a lot of cool parts where they change the camera angle up on you, so with iFinity it's exaggerated. On top of which, there's lots of narrow corridors that help accentuate the speed. I think Sega did this purposely, and they did a really good job of showing you what this game was all about in the first level. Overall, I think Sonic Adventure 2 Battle actually shows off Ifinity very well, especially to those who are coming from consoles. Multi-monitor gaming was actually the thing that made me actually start PC gaming and getting off consoles. And since I saw how games could be so much more awesome, I kept with it. I found that even if a game was on a console and a PC, the PC version was almost always better than the console version. You don't really need a really beastly PC to enjoy the benefits of running a PC game, because even a mediocre PC can beat a console 99% of the time. That actually brings me to another point. Multi-monitor gaming is very expensive, 
and I know a lot of people would be wanting to try it. You can actually kind of try it with only one monitor. Uh, using a custom resolution, you could make an aspect ratio similar to what you're looking at right now. I'm going to leave a link below in the description of my tutorial at the widescreen gaming forum on how to actually do a, a custom resolution on ATI cards. And I'm going to also leave one for NVIDIA users as well. It should be able to give you more of a better idea of how playing like this would actually be like. I've actually ran out of things left to say, so enjoy the rest of this gameplay footage. This has been a widescreen features of you, and if you have any questions, you can go to the widescreen gaming forum for any of your widescreen gaming needs. Until next time, this has been Sukun to Miyu.